Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 8th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. We were no noting yesterday that plasma filament solar tornado in the northern hemisphere as well the x-class solar flare and since then we've seen another strong m-class solar flare having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming with a little earth to scale active sunspot regions right now there are nine on the earth facing sun interesting plasma prominence there in the southwestern hemisphere of the sun and then a look at all of the outgoing action where we've seen X-class, M-class, and multiple C-class solar flares. Most latest M-class solar flare did produce a coronal mass ejection. And so did the X-class solar flare. Having a look at another light here, multi-spectrum. See active region, most active region this past week. Noting the incoming sunspot region there, very broad and unstable. Some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you all for pressing play and subscribing to Daily Events. Much love and thank you for all the support to this channel. Another light here, this is where we will see blackened regions which will be coronal holes. And we only have one small coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. A coronal hole is a cooled region on the surface of the sun. We have not seen much of that recently as we've seen multiple sunspots in a heightened solar cycle 25, which is a maximum lasting for about 11 years. And then another 11 years minimum. Having a look at the current space weather conditions, we are under R3, strong radio blackout impacts expected. M-class solar flare today, solar radiation storm impacts are expected as well. And for tonight, a moderate geomagnetic storm is expected and as forecasted here with daily events worldwide, looking at the solar X-ray flux, all the most recent events on our sun, this is the past two days, solar proton flux, very elevated up into the S1 range. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 overnight. Real-time solar wind sitting at 500 kilometers per second right now. Pretty much streamlined, except for late last night. Did have quite a hit and a big jump here, up to almost 600 kilometers per second. And this is what our solar winds look like now hitting our planet. And a little demonstration of our magnetosphere. This is showing the pressure planes, the pressure on our planet. The darker the red, the more pressure there is. So we are under a lot of pressure right now. And we, as expected, we're going to be expecting a seismic uptick over the next couple of days if not later today. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. Already seeing some interesting action up into the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent coronal mass ejection taking off from the cresting limb, amping up the space weather that was already on its way and expected arrival 11th, 12th, 13th. We are going through right now minor solar radiation impacts. As you can see, the little yellow circle on these maps is planet Earth. And two images on the right hand side are current happening now. So, solar proton flux is in effect right now. Looking at LASCO 2, showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energy taking off from our sun. The most recent CMEs, we've seen three of them the past 48 hours. One big one there, and then another one. And then last few images was the most recent 
coronal mass ejection taking off from the cresting limb. Another closer look here at that coronal mass ejection. We'll just slow it down a bit. And then let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours has been interesting. Largest earthquake the past 24 hours, 5.7 here, South Sandwich Islands, Northern Island, as well a 5.5 here, pretty rare earthquake, Tanzania, 10 kilometer depth. And we've seen a lot of increasing activity across the Arabian and African plate. Afghanistan with a 4.2, Myanmar with a 4.3 there, but 120 kilometer depth, pretty deep for the region. Papua New Guinea, minor activity. Mariana Islands, pretty deep for the region. And then Wallace and Fortuna, 5.0, 300 kilometer depth and 4.3, 550 kilometer depth. And that's the deepest the past 24 hours. Interesting activity. Mariana's Trench and northward into the Uzu Islands of Japan. Quieting down through Alaska compared to what we've seen as of late. And then we get to the Pacific Northwest in the United States. Fault City, Washington reporting a 3.8 earthquake and as well a 2.8. 3.6 just recently towards the Gulf of California. Minor swarm there, White City, New Mexico. Looking at USGS reporting 209 earthquakes in the past 24 hour period closer look here at the Pacific Northwest as we were noting the earthquakes Washington and as well west of Mount St. Helens and then these earthquakes here Glacier Washington that is really close to a large Mount Baker Other than that, no notable swarms to talk about. Minor activity across Yellowstone and Northwest as per usual. Interesting earthquake here, 4.8 Honduras. As well, Puerto Rico seeing some activity today, largest being a 4.3 magnitude. And way too quiet, South American plate. Expecting something to come here the next 24 to 48 hours. With all this increased cosmic energy. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world, we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes as of late. Noting all of the elevated rings are the depth, showing the depth of the earthquakes. And that just seems to be all across all continents right now. So heads up, stay aware, prepared. If you are in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready. Having a look here at Zoom Earth, showing satellite imagery from around the world overlooking the Atlantic and Canada. Wildfire smoke thinning out as they've seen tons of moisture heading towards Northwest Territories, helping put out those fires. But BC is still multiple fires. Got Tropical Storm Eugene in the East Pacific and as well Typhoon Dora, who is still heading westwards south of Hawaii. And then we've got Tropical Storm Lan, and as well, 94W, which is a low, and Tropical Storm Kanun, who is heading straight up into South Korea and North Korea. Other than that, no major weather events to report. Let's have a quick look at the weather forecast brought to you by windy.com, showing the lows that will be affecting North America this week. We've got an intense system heading eastward through the Atlantic provinces, set to bring a lot of rain and wind. Watch for this large low to impact the Atlantic provinces. Over the next three days, lots of moisture, atmospheric river of moisture heading up into Nova Scotia and then eventually Newfoundland in the long range. Extreme weather event possible there. Thursday into Friday, United States, and then watch as this system ramps up again. You've got another one heading up into the Atlantic provinces. Newfoundland will be getting the brunt of this system as that is an intense strong low and some pretty cool temperatures 
being funneled down from it. As well, long-range forecast showing a low coming into Ontario. Could see some extreme weather events there as well. As we are still in the height of summer and lots of warm, humid moisture coming out of the Gulf. Spreading as far north as Alaska. Quick look here at the, the next few days for temperatures. And it will be warming up next week all the way up into the Northwest Territories. But this equatorial band of warm air seems to be stretching. Quick look here overlooking Africa and the rest of the world. No major tropical systems developing in the Atlantic, but in the long range forecast could see one developing Looking at the Southern Hemisphere, there is a massive low here forecasted to develop west of South America, being blocked by a huge high pressure ridge. And then look at the Southern Hemisphere, multiple large lows. Overlooking Europe, you've got a big low off the coast of the United Kingdom and Ireland. I will be affecting you over the next few days and as well parts of Eastern Europe. Notable region there, long range forecast, possible system developing in the Atlantic and a strong system heading into Portugal and Spain. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video and all the information shared here with daily events worldwide. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.